Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about the upcoming changes to the CSI net syllabus. It is not official yet. So the very first disclaimer I'm going to put, I'm making this video on 10th May 2025. As of this date, this syllabus is not official. It is not changed yet. Still, we should follow the existing old syllabus of CSI and Net Life Science examination. But they have proposed to change this syllabus. And CSI and Net syllabus is going to change, the exam pattern is going to change, the exam formalities are going to change. From CSI and Net Life Science and DBT, Biotechnology Eligibility Test, both should be merged together. That's how they proposed. And if the verdict reached of proposing the merged examination, then only this CSI and Net Life Science syllabus will be changed. Right? And in that case, the exam will be termed as CSIR LSBT, Life Science Biotechnology. So the name of the exam will be changed too. We don't know whether the exam will be conducted once a year or twice a year. What is the exam pattern is not disclosed, but the syllabus has been released in CSIR HRD website. And we can compare this new syllabus compared to the existing old syllabus of CSIR and Life Science. What are the changes? We are going to talk about that. What are the new things that's been added? What are the things that's deleted? That's something that we are going to talk about in this particular video. So watch this video till the end. But make sure that this syllabus update is not done yet. It is not official yet. Let's the very first thing that I want to say is that nothing has been removed from the syllabus. Everything that was there in the syllabus is still there in the syllabus. The syllabus get bigger and bigger. Earlier CSI net life science syllabus has 13 units, 13 separate units. Now the new proposed syllabus has 14 different units instead of 13. Basically unit means chapter. So earlier it has 13 chapters, now it has 14 chapters. Now, that means one extra chapter. But does it really mean that one extra chapter is added? The answer is no. Actually, two and a half new chapter has been added. Two chapters at least has been added to the existing syllabus of CS and Life Science. What are the common chapters? What are the uncommon chapters? Let's see here in this screen. And you can see this. Structure and function of biomolecules, that is biochemistry unit, that is common. Earlier we have unit 1, we have unit 1, same thing. Cell biology, second unit, we had that earlier, it is already there present in the new one as well. Fundamental process, DNA replication, transcription, translation, RNA biology, it was there, it still is there. Cell communication and cell signaling, cancer biology, immunology was there in unit 4 earlier, now it's also there in, in fourth chapter. Developmental biology is common in both System Physiology Plant in 6, Unit 6, System Physiology Animal in Unit 7, Inheritance Biology Genetics in Unit 8. So till Unit 8, everything between the old CSI and Life Science syllabus and the re-syllabus, the proposed syllabus of the upcoming examinations or the future examinations are absolutely same. Till Unit 8, everything is same, no difference at all. Now, Ninth, earlier it was diversity of life, but here in nine, diversity of life has been accommodated along with evolution. So earlier evolution was in unit 11 of CSI net, but in LSBT exam, evolution and diversity of life tagged together. So unit 9 and 11 as per the old syllabus now put together and they build unit 9 only. So two units are combined here in unit 9. Unit 10 earlier was ecology and uh, behavioral biology. Behavioral biology was present in unit 11 earlier, but now it is present in ecology. So unit 11 has been distributed across chapter 9 here and chapter 10 here, right? So till chapter 10, all the things are common between the old syllabus and new syllabus. Uh, in new syllabus, the unit 11 has been distributed in, in new un, unit 9 and new unit 10, okay? Diversity of life forms in unit 9, evolution is unit 11, behavioral biology is unit 11. That is done. Now the new chapter that is complete new chapter that is added to the proposed syllabus is unit number 11 or chapter number 11. It is bioinformatics and computational biology. That is what is there. Bioinformatics and computational biology is there. It is complete new chapter. Earlier in CSI net life science examination, we did not have bioinformatics. But now if 
this is going to be the exam pattern this is going to be the exam syllabus which is not official yet again i am telling you but if it is made official in that case you need to study bioinformatics and computational biology theory part then biochemical engineering and industrial biotechnology this is another unit that is added unit 12 here it is added earlier we had applied biology in unit 12 biological methods in biology in unit 13 we have methods in biology in, in chapter number 14 now advances in biotechnology which has some part 50 percent from the applied biology that is unit 12 here in advances in biotechnology so as i mentioned two and a half chapters are added chapter one is bioinformatics and computational biology which is added chapter two is biomedical uh, biochemical engineering and industrial biotechnology which is completely new chapter added and 50 percent of advances in biotechnology is added because in this chapter you have plant uh, breeding you have marker assisted selection you have agrobacterium mediated gene delivery you have plant biotechnology you have uh, plant uh, tissue culture all those things were present in unit 12 earlier in CSI and its syllabus so 50 percent of those is common so that's why i say two and a half so actually chapter number 11 chapter number 12 and half of chapter number 13 is new to the re-entered uh, syllabus or pre-proposed syllabus of the upcoming life science btls syllabus or lsbt syllabus they call it lsbt which is a pathetic name they should come up with a better name please come up with a better name don't call it as lsbt it's going to make so much confusion because ls earlier was termed as lectureship so don't make it lsbt please rename it to something else if you're trying to snub dbt bet examination then tell in front of the students that we are not going to conduct dbt bet anymore we are only going to conduct one examination but they are not saying it they are saying we are merging it for the development of technology and science and progress bullshit complete bullshit they are not doing anything like that they are not doing any single thing like that okay do you believe that two and a half chapter addition is going to do anything change it is going to create immense pressure on students coming from the classical background ask a zoology student a botany student do they really want to study biotechnology and computational science do they really want to study linear algebra at this moment do they really want to study uh, integration at this stage of their life at this stage of their career no man they don't want to study this why are you making the syllabus so complicated earlier there were 13 chapters people can't finish the 13 chapters every six months for the examination now you have added you called it 14 chapter but actually in reality you made it 15 and a half chapter 13 plus two and a half new chapters 15 and a half chapter syllabus it is or approximately 16 chapter syllabus it is not a 14 chapter syllabus and you expect people to complete it within six months are you making a joke of yourself i challenge every single person who make question papers they are big scientists in india they, they put research papers in nature cell journal come and get yourself prepared for this 14 as you said 14 chapters and take an examination like this and score more than 60 percent in the examination i challenge you openly do that for 14 chapters do that for 15 and a half chapters you'll realize how much difficult it is to qualify how much difficult it is to even get through this is it a joke to you is it a joke to you to play with the life of the students like this nobody is being vocal because the coaching institutes are too dumb or too dumb and too concentrated in, in printing money at this moment but somebody need to talk somebody need to come and tell them that this is not right even after all this if you don't increase the seat then what is the point of conducting it in every six months and people will cover all this syllabus and they get into the examination i am telling you what's going to happen people from classical biology they will fear this and they will not fill the form even if they fill the form they will not show up in the examination that's what you want right that's what the csr hrd want that's what they want they want you to fill the form and not getting into the examination they will cash in this money and give the fellowship why are you doing this no point of if you want to discontinue dbt bet then discontinue it because eventually the biotechnology students are going to appear in csi and it as well but the people from general biology stream they are not accustomed with these subjects so how can they prepare this within six month time frame or any time frame that they have provided imagine that even if it's a one year examination 12 months you prepare 15 and a half units unit means these individual chapters is like it's so big that a person can do even msc in these subjects how is it possible scientifically it's not possible 
This is what happens when important people run an organization. When people who don't understand science run an organization. Then they do stuff like this. I still believe and fingers crossed that in the voting, they should not get it uh, in this place. I am not concerned whether this video is going to stay or not, whether they put strike on my channel. But I am going to speak this truth for all of you. On behalf of all the students out there. I also run a coaching. My coaching business also depends on students joining me. But I will not want to make money in terms of jeopardizing their career. I, I cannot do that because at the end of the day when I get into the sleep, I know that what I provide and what I did for the life science field for the last 12 years, last 14 years in this field of science, in the field of life science in India. If I could have done this outside of India, in US or Canada, I could have reached much, much higher heights. But that doesn't matter. What matters is the seriousness of this examination, the conductance of seriousness. And whatever you feel, if you are watching this video right now, anyone who is watching the video, just comment. This syllabus may benefit or may give benefit to the biotechnology candidates. That means you only want biotechnology students to apply, then why you are studying, uh, keeping uh, the syllabus on for zoology, botany, microbiology, physiology students? Then close, the, close all the colleges uh, for all the subjects teaching for zoology, botany, physiology, all these subjects. Close them down. What is the point of keeping them alive? Then only keep IITs and conduct the biotechnology there. Although you can't provide them placements like you, you generally do for the engineering, other engineering subjects. You don't have that because you don't have jobs in India for biotechnology. So why are you doing these things? If you are snubbing zoology, botany candidates and general classical biology candidates, then what is the point of conducting the exam? They are the major chunk of the people they apply for CSN examination. You should protest. All should protest against it. It's not a good idea. Not at all a good idea to do it. CSIR is cutting their resources because they don't have resources. Because the people involved in this particular field, science and technology background, they are heavily involved in political decisions. They are powerful people. They are sitting in there and taking decisions all over. Right? So they don't want to distribute their precious time in the field of life sciences. That's basically the truth. They are not trying to do this. They, they don't want to do to give their time. They don't want to spare any time. So what they want to do, they want to terminate DBT bet. And this is the way that they showed you that we are not terminating, we are merging them. But in reality, they are actually discouraging life science candidates to take zoology, botany, physiology as their subject of stream, microbiology as a, as a stream of their subject. They don't want you to do that. Is that the reality that you want to do? Right? Then disclose clearly how many seats are going to be present. Earlier if you give 5000 people GRF, now next time if the exam is conducted once a year, are you going to provide the examination GRF to uh, let's say uh, more than 10,000 people, 12,000, maybe 15,000 people? Clarify this. Syllabus is increasing every time. But how, what about the stipend? Are you going to, do you going to improve the stipend? Are you going to do that? Please elaborate. Whether the stipend is going to remain the same or is going to change. It is important to know. 30,000, 35,000 rupees is no longer uh, enough for a PhD candidate who is working 12 to 16 hours a day, slogging their life for the sake of the society. But the society doesn't know what they are doing. Society never know what PhD means. They only know one thing. They only know doctor means, do, doctor means is a medical profession. There is no other doctor is available. Their conception of scientist is still the mad man, mad person. Change this. What is your take on this? Please mention that. And if you as an aspirant, if you as a guardian, if you as a coaching institute owner, believe this video has something to say for the people, for the students who appear in the Senate examination, then you should share this video. So that it reaches to those people who are making this decision and they make this count, they should not change this. They shouldn't change the syllabus. Many people may think from a different angle that as they change the syllabus, you run a coaching, you find it difficulty managing, that's why you're doing it. I don't have any problem, boss. I teach 13 units of CSI and its syllabus for last 14 years. Explaining something is a cup of tea for me. I'm not bragging about myself. But explaining something, I have that talent. I have that naturally coming into.
So if you give me bioinformatics, you can find 12 years old video of me explaining bioinformatics in 2010, uh, 2012. So I can do that easily. Bioinformatics course is available in my, in my app. I can easily make a bioinformatics videos. There's no problem in, uh, from my side of making the videos of this. I'll take 10 hours to make the videos of all this and 5 or 10 more, more uh, hours to, to make powerpoints and materials for that. I'll do that. It's not a problem for me. The problem will be for students. If they make it the syllabus, then obviously as a coaching institute, as a service provider, I need to teach all the subjects. I'll teach it. But is it scientifically possible for a student to grasp all the concepts within six months or a year of time? No, it's not possible. If I'm hyper, please, I'm, 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 I'm very sorry if my video is hurting anyone's sentiment. My aim is not to hurt anyone's sentiment. But I want to speak the reality, man. I want to speak the truth. I had enough with CSIR. I had enough with what they're doing here, right? Somebody need to speak. Somebody need to talk loudly, clearly. And I, I talked from my, from my heart in this particular video. I, I can't be diplomatic anymore. So if you are with me, then comment that you are with me. And if you are not against, if you are against me, that's too, that's fine. Also put the reason behind it in the comment section. I'll wait for it. I'll appreciate it. So this is the difference in the syllabus and this syllabus is going to be, it's not still the new CSIR net syllabus, but it can be the upcoming syllabus, but not for CSIR net. It will be termed as LSBT syllabus. Maybe CSIR LSBT syllabus, science and technology LSBT syllabus. I don't know what name they will be giving this particular syllabus to. But 11, 12 and half of unit 13. And if you scroll down, you will find out the, the detailed chapter wise division of this syllabus. Okay. Uh, rest of the chapters I, I've, I've, I've gone through the syllabus is not that different. The only thing that difference here is uh, different here is some portion of the methods in biology is also a little bit altered. But mostly they are similar to the CSI net syllabus. So if you ask me, it's it's 90% similar, 85 to 90% uh, similar with the CSI net syllabus. Only 5 to 10% different, 10 to 15% different from the CSI net life science syllabus. So if you are joining now for the coaching, don't worry. If they implement the syllabus, we are going to cover everything that is there in the syllabus. We are still following the old syllabus, but if they change the syllabus in the middle, we are obviously going to change it. Don't worry about it. We'll teach everything for you. If you want to join Shomu's Biology online coaching or buy our material, the link is there in the description. And also contact this number 9804654228. Visit our website www.shomu'sbiology.com or download our Shomu's Biology application from Google Play Store. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.